follows a man until it's done with him. Alright, so here's a little fucking off the cuff commentary on the Thorn mini boss of this mod. I got an anonymous ask on Tumblr going like, oh, I'm surprised you haven't covered it. I mean, I get it because it's horrible, but you know. And I'm like, oh, I haven't, I haven't played it. <laughs> so I go, I go play it on my new, my new profile, Richard. I need to speak with you. And it is the fucking worst thing. Hold up. Now that yeah, this isn't scripted. Grief, I'm just getting this out of the way something. real quick. Someone you'd rather not meet. His name's Thorn, and he's nothing but a vicious son of a bitch that needs to be put down like the rabbit dog he is. Rabbit dog Let's he is. Let's just say he'll take you by force if he can. And that, uh, he says Every this, and I'm like, oh. Name mentioned, comes with and then he says this. Story of a wench being raped. I'm like, oh. Look, I was abandoned too, but he is something else. I never liked him. We were pretty much on opposite sides. In fact. He still wants me dead. Oh, the fucking Bishop Lore. What? I... no. What? Forget what? I said that. Forget it. Yeah, fuck. I don't want to talk about it. I don't know if he ever elaborates on it anywhere else. Like his Blood past in banditry, <laughs> but, um... Works for me. He belongs in the pits of oblivion for what he's done. We'll send him there, after I've snapped every single bone in his body. The marked his hovel on your map. You know, that's a sentiment I love from, from our boy you. Bishop here. But I won't lie that I'd like to see his Like, um, up. yeah, so the thing about this is I can anticipate that if any of the mods target demographic sees this video, which is kind of unlikely to be honest, um, they'll be like, well, he's not supposed to be a character you're, li you're liking. You're supposed to hate him, which is like, yeah, he is set up to be the literal worst human being on Earth. It doesn't mean that this fucking rape dungeon is not like at best just wildly insensitive and just kind of cruel to have as a thing and at worst just god I don't even know very exploitative and it also goes into the thing where like you'll see this more later when I talk about the extent to which Bishop is just absolute garbage he is, he's not intentionally written this way, but he, I, I mean, I doubt they intent, they were like, yeah, yeah, let's have a scene where he sexually coerces you into fucking him. Like, I don't, I don't think they were doing that, I don't think he intended that, but, um, he does that, he, he's a, I'll be going into this soon when I finish that video, but he is a sexual abuser, so to have this guy who's like, you know, like a straight up over rapist. I wonder where the bandits keep their food. It, it just strikes me as like trying to make Bishop look. Oh, and here's the fucking thing. There's um, this is where I was like, okay, for fuck's sake, because this they um took the dungeon that is like for that companions quest line with Krev the Skinner or whatever, uh, but and just replaced all the dead werewolves with um naked dead women. It's like, yeah, I love this guy's a fucking rapist murderer. This is what we need for our romance mod. So yeah, there's, there's, um, I will have censored it. I will be censoring it while editing the video. But um, you open various cages and doors, and there are um, dead, naked women with like torture devices nearby, which is just, you know, just the most tasteful shit. Bandits are desperate men. They have nothing to lose, and they fight like it. So you can even free some prisoners, and they have some just default vanilla dialogue that's been repurposed for this. Whatever. Yeah, this made me realize um, how good it is that I didn't, like, try to bring Bishop along on other quests to get extra dialogue. Because he has a lot of dialogue. It's true, but, um... He, he cons he just fucking repeats the same like three lines in every place and it's super annoying like ooh these bandits are nasty they'll slit your throat before blah 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 and it's like oh my god uh, shut the fuck up shut the fuck you, up shut the thank fuck you. up thank you I won't tell anyone what happened here I swear it <laughs> bandits are cowards and deserve nothing but my blood steps will let go oh my god and this fucking swamp bore so line which is um uh, a reference to the 
original Neverwinter Nights too, then, because he has this line where he's like, "You're stomping around like a swamp boar," and his inflection on swamp boar is so funny. Like, I heard you stomping your way through the overgrowth like a swamp boar. The, the voice acting in um, Neverwinter Nights too is like possibly worse Bandits than in this mod. <laughs> like, I'm gonna be real with you. <laughs> I'm saying I don't blame him. You're stomping around like a swamp boar. Like... In... Like in Half-Life VR AI. Yeah, I'm mentioning that. Where, um... Dr. Tumor's like, I piss everywhere like a race horse! It's like that. So that's off topic from this mod, I'm just, just really bored. Watching this. Doing commentary. Let's player. Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. <laughs> Richard is so badass. So badass. And here we are. Alright, so be prepared for like the longest fucking cutscene. Not cutscene, dialogue scene. Possibly in this mod, it definitely rivals the one between Bishop and Casimir. See if you get any dialogue, he doesn't. Well, well. Look who decided to show his face, boys. It seems you come bearing a gift. I don't, I don't know if something was supposed to happen there, but it didn't. And what might you need? Yes. Speak. Fucking Vince. Peace Vince the lore friendly perhaps? bandit. Hmm. She is quite the sight. I can't wait to tear those clothes off her tempting body. See, I would think and hope that this isn't supposed to be alluring. Yes. And that the purpose of this scene is to have Bishop be the big tough guy who saves you and that's so hot, but A like friend? Oh no, my little mouse. Far I was from why it, would you fact. want this in your romance mod? Why would you want a scene where your self-insert gets, like, almost raped? Isn't she? She is a woman, Bishop. Women are soft and delicate. That's the purpose they serve. This little mouse here will serve hers on my furs tonight. Whether she likes it or not. <laughs> Pausing this shit right here because this scene is, oh my god. So like, yeah, obviously this is supposed to be bad. It's supposed to be a very bad sentiment. But this mod, it doesn't do anything to like... The rest of the content of this mod has the same worldview as this like, cartoon antagonist evil man. Like, it, it'll like pay lip service to the idea that women aren't soft and delicate, but like, it, you're never treated that way. You're never treated any way other than that by any character. This doesn't make Bishop look good. It just like highlights that he is, as written, a fucking horrible person, but just like, you know, not this kind of cartoon horrible. He's like alarmingly close to how um, real people can be horrible. Yes, this is stupid. I see your powers of observation have not changed, Thorn. Still can't see past your own image, can you? <laughs> well, it was my own image that defeated you, was it not? You claim to be of the best out there. But truth is, you're a pathetic, scared little rodent. I mean, he is a rat bastard, Unlike that is your true. Company here, anyone can see that. Anyone as vain as you. <laughs> from the man that cares for no one but himself. Very well. Let's take a closer look to our little mouse here. This is where I started getting really bored. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what have we here? <laughs> the almighty <laughs> dragonborn. Now this... This is certainly a peace offering, Bishop. The stories of how I conquered the Dragonborn will be told for ages to come. 
And then, once I am finally done with her, I will bring her in and claim the price on her head. What fucking price? Gold will have me. What price us, on? Set for life. There's no That's price no. on your head. It is. Unless you commit any crimes. Thank you for presenting the Dragonborn her to me. is not her lore a this. criminal. <laughs> There's no fucking oh, price. Perhaps I will let you have some fun with her as well. After me and my boys are done, of course. Oh, well, this is where they try and make you think you that maybe Bishop would want to sell you, so they can like be like, no, I would never do that. Do I care what about you last time so much. Spoke. Afterwards, you don't want to fight me, Thor. It's been years since our last meeting. We fought to a draw. Like that it's not time, fooling but anyone, but your then. conversation after that like necessitates you, you to in the make that assumption. Being the brave I've noticed that you are heterosexual romance tends to focus around funny misunderstandings you and you know the like. Well how easy it would be for me to I don't know, I don't have any coherent thoughts on that at this moment. My brain is like melting out of my ears. Knife, no less. Let's see, six to two? Yeah, I like those odds. I should warn you though, if we are doing this, I'm going to carve my name into I that cannot place of yours. Overstate. That ought to tear the heart right out of you. How fucking boring Go this ahead, is. Try it. <laughs> so if you are, well, this dialogue could have been like the Dragonborn and I a minute long, you. and that would have been pushing it. Kill Bishop if you must. I want the Dragonborn <coughs> alive. Oh, the fun we will have together. <laughs> <laughs> God. So here's the big fight. Yeah, your footsteps. Close Another fight. Don't touch her. She's mine. Got it. Fucking. See, we're supposed to go like, oh, oh, I love that. Fucking Vince. Fucking Vince. Keeping his eye out, watching the shadows. All of Bishop's fucking combat dialogue was like. Mm. You're not gonna get her. I'll get ya. That son of a bitch got what he deserved. Had it coming for a long time. Hey, what's with that look? You alright? See, so it necessitates you to have this misunderstanding of what is obviously not something he intended to do. Like. No one yeah, was thinking, oh no, he betrayed me. Literally no one. I was buying us time, woman. Playing along to lower his guard. Uh -huh. We were outnumbered, if you what? haven't noticed. I needed to think of something to keep us both from being killed. <laughs> what, you really have so little faith in me that you think I'd do something like that? Yeah, honestly. But, um, the... Yeah, that whole bit of dialogue too. It's just kind of like Are you even listening to what I'm saying? I, I don't know. do that, especially Pointless. not to you. In case you haven't noticed, I didn't betray you. No. You clearly don't know me at all if you honestly believe I would let anything happen to someone as important to me as you. I'm far from the guy you think I am. <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean. Look, just forget I even said anything. Let's find a tavern. I need a drink. Yeah, so that's the that's the whole encounter, pretty much. Um, it just exists so that we can. I don't even know what the point is. It's um, it exists to put you in some steamy danger. Um, to kind of have a chance for Bishop to rescue you and prove prove that um, this is a very girl boss mod that um, that. This guy who thinks women are soft little mice to be sexually abused is wrong. Unlike our our darling bishop here, who um, in all but explicit text thinks women are soft little mice to be possessed and taken advantage of. And I mean, I can't assume that no one on the mods team like has experienced any form of sexual abuse or assault or whatever, um, I'm not gonna make that assumption and just say that whatever the case, 
This was fucking tasteless. If I'm playing some fucking self-insert wish fulfillment romance mod, why on earth would I want to go through a rape dungeon and have my character threaten to be raped? Why would I want that? <laughs>